Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to submit a non-Google Drive assignment. But I want to review for just a second the difference between a Google Drive assignment and a non-Google Drive assignment. The only difference between these two is whether or not your teacher has created the document and shared it with you to essentially fill in and submit. That is a Google Drive assignment. A non-Google Drive assignment is one where you create the content and upload it to Schoology for your teacher to grade. So I'm going to come over here to my course and let's take a look here at these two assignments for a second. One of them is a Google Drive assignment and one of them is a non-Google Drive assignment. You may have seen in another video that this one right here, Muscle Presentation, that is a Google Drive assignment. But I can't tell the difference between these two just by looking at the icon or the way they're titled. The only way that you can tell if you've got a non-Google Drive assignment or a Google Drive assignment is just by what your teacher gives you. So again, today's video is about how to submit a non-Google Drive assignment. We're going to look at this activity log right here. When I open it up, I see the directions and they say submit your activity log here. You can attach a Google Doc by link, and make sure sharing permissions are turned on, or a Word document or even pictures. To submit, I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and click on Submit Assignment. A common mistake though that students make is by adding their assignment right there in the comment field. And this is just kind of natural coming from Google Classroom. We looked at what was underneath of the assignment and that's where we posted the things that we needed to turn in. But with Schoology, we've got to stop for a second and think about what we're doing and read what's on the screen. So I'm going to come over here to Submit Assignment and I click on it. And I get three choices. I can upload, I can create, or something called resources. When I click on upload, I've got these two choices right here. The first one is if I want to upload a file. This doesn't work so great on a Chromebook. If you happen to be at home and you're working on a PC or a Mac, this will work fine. But on a Chromebook, there are no files to upload because there's nothing actually stored on your actual Chromebook. It's all stored in a cloud. But this option over here, audio video recording, that does work no matter what device you're on. When I click on create, a notepad opens up. I can start typing my information in here. Uh, and if I want to come back later and edit it and add stuff to it, I could save a draft of it. And I would just come back to the assignment, open it up over here, and continue my work. I also want to point out that there's a spot here where you can insert a link. You could link to a Google Drive file here. Again, make sure that your sharing permissions are turned on. I could also insert content. And you may notice that one of the things that's already turned on or provided for me is my Google Drive resource app. So I can add Google stuff two ways just in this one field. I can also come over here and click on resources. Come down here and click on apps. There's my Google Drive resource app again. One of the benefits and potential drawbacks of Schoology is there are usually several ways to accomplish the same task, like I just showed you with adding things from your Google Drive. You can add a link to the file under the Create tab or through Resources or on the Upload tab if you're working on a PC computer. On one hand, this is great, but it can also be frustrating when we're just starting to learn how to use Schoology. We think we have the one way figured out and then we discover there other ways to do things and we forget all the steps and they all get jumbled together. So just remember, when you're going to submit a non-Google Drive assignment, you have these three choices, upload, and on this tab, file, does not work on a Chromebook. 
create lots of options in here and resources. Again, you can add stuff from your Google Drive here or back on the Create tab. And to submit, you just click on the Submit button.